Hello guys, hope you are doing well. Uh, this video is basically regarding how we can create up uh, our free proxy server. Uh, like you will be thinking why we want to create a free proxy server. Like you have a different VPN services. We can access the free VPN services as well. And the free proxy over, over the internet is available. So yeah, basically what happened if you are using the free services, this can be, uh, uh, the data can be leaked over the internet. That can be risks there. So basically, uh, if you create all proxy server, like that will be personal proxy server, where the logs will going to keep it on the, your server only, and it won't be going to monitor anywhere actually. So we'll see how we can going to use this, okay, and how the account will be going to create. So first, let's launch a Chrome and let's move here. Uh, just search the Linode. The Linode is basically cloud services that provide the cloud level of services where you can host your applications and other servers okay so we're going to host the server over the Linode okay uh, why I'm going to use this Linode because it's basically come with a very low cost and the this you will be getting hundred dollars in the initial when you create your account okay so now it's like we can go create our account there is a four step account step process okay you need to sign up with the google verification it will going to verify your email id and the phone number and third is the billing In the billing what will be happen it will going to charge two rupees only and it will come a uh, refund refund bank to your account okay so you should have uh, the visa card of the any bank account it will be work okay once the uh, verification is complete you can access the account now let's move to the dashboard how it actually it's look so this is the dashboard of the linode these are the services provided by the Linode. Actually, you can see firewalls, this, uh, the volumes, image services, the many services actually here. The same like the other cloud services actually. So, for creating of the proxy server, I'm going to use the shadow socks. Okay. Just wait a second. Uh, now, yeah, yeah. So this is a shadow socks. This application we're going to use to create a proxy server. You need to set up your password. Okay, and here just keep it blank. Everything. Okay, it's not required. Select the images, the region. You can select anything. Like uh, I want to select the Mumbai server. I, I can select. Or I'll going to select the Tokyo, okay. And as, as I mentioned, it's come with the hundred dollars of the free account. So I'll going to use this the one GB of node. That is the five dollar monthly charges and the RAM of the one GB, okay. So the Linode label, I'll keep it to proxy server as I'm going to create the proxy, okay. And let us set a credentials for it. and here you can just keep it blank now the summary is here for proxy the server name and the location and the configurations and the charges let's create here uh, yeah so this is the starting the server right now and you can see the public IP address that we will going to be used uh, and the good news is something is that let's go to the set of stock sites where you can download the application you need to go to view on github and see there is a as uh, this shadow sock is available for the phone as well so that's really great actually the great things like you can simply copy paste the proxy address and the port number and the credentials and you can use this proxy server in a phone as well actually okay now uh, it's available on the play store you can search the shadow socks and it will be visible there okay let's create the for the windows actually download from release this needs to download i have already downloaded it in my laptop so i'm not going to use it and now move here so you just need to run this setup okay and once you run the setup it will be come here and the app bar it will be visible this way i can okay let's see if our server started run or not okay it's running great 
so uh, what i will going to do is the same step will be for the android as well okay i am just uh, doing for the windows so you can do it for the phone as well if you want you, if you want to access this, this the same service in the phone as well just copy the proxy address come here edit servers server in the edit copy paste the same here and the keep it same configuration the port now server port will be the 8000 and the the part, password you uh, set it to the time while creation of the account for the server okay and encryption will be the 256 gcm okay apply i'll show you first like for the as evidence i'll show my the current ip address okay so my location the current ip address is showing the mumbai okay as i'm belong from here okay uh, and now i'm going to run this and just see the changes the global label okay so global something means or the comp or entire computer okay see started to run actually Mm, yeah let's try if the traffic is started from the different location so early my location was showing the Mumbai and the IP address was it and now see uh, it's changed it's now Tokyo can you see the same way you can do it from the phone you just need to copy paste the IP address and the port number and the and the credentials and you can run the proxy on the phone as well so simply what happened like uh it will going to monitor all the logs from this ip address only so it's with you only and uh, there's a this is the actual main difference between between the vpn services and the proxy server you don't going to move uh monitor anything over internet and the whenever uh, you want to access any unaccessible sites over internet you can easily go and accessible without any issues because it will going to generate the regular traffic the way the normal computer generate the traffic it will only let know the servers that you are using in a VPN and the proxy server okay thank you